Uh, good morning, dear listeners. Today we continue our uh, podcast series on uh, mycotherapy, which is uh, therapeutic mushrooms, according to my book, uh, Healing with Mycotherapy. And uh, today we speak about the Coprinus comatus. Uh, it's uh, it's a delicious mushroom, but um, it's edible only when it is young. It's not particularly known for its therapeutic qualities. Uh, however, um, scientists have uh, recently identified some pharmacologically active compounds and have shown the therapeutic potential of the mushrooms. So, um, uh, basically, it contains large quantities of GABA, which is um, a very difficult to pronounce acid, uh, that uh, we have in the brain and um, and this is a, is a potentially relaxing and anti-anxiety effect uh, so GABA is um, it's basically uh, amino butyric acid it's difficult to pronounce but in any case um, studies conducted there have been some studies also on tumor cells which have shown its potentially anti-tumor activity against breast cancer and ovarian cancer. So, uh, in traditional Chinese medicine has been used to treat piles and improve digestion. That was the traditional use. And um, as well as possessing broad um, polysaccharide mediated immunomodulatory activity, so it's immunomodulatory. Um, Arrest extracts of coprinus uh, comatus have been shown to possess um, anti-androgenic activity. So that means that uh, in, it, it inhibits androgen-dependent prostate cancer cell proliferation through multiple, multiple mechanisms. Uh, that includes inhibition of androgen receptor mediated uh, activity and uh, the levels of AR prostate-specific antigen PSA transcription. So, um, not much, uh, not much uh, research, but some research on these mushrooms, um, which is uh, quite recent. And um, so, another uh, possible effect is um, to lower uh, the sugar in the blood, the glucose rate in the blood. So that's another um, another possible effect. Uh, in animal studies, coprinus has a marked um, protective function on the liver uh, with the daily administration of the extract polysaccharide um, that produced a reduction in negative effects of alcohol on the liver structure and function. So just to summarize, uh, this, is, this is the mushrooms that uh, in Chinese medicine had been used uh, in the past but uh, it's also uh, can also be eaten it's edible when young uh, it has a potentially uh, anti-anxiety effect uh, some studies have shown that it can uh, have an effect of on prostate uh, cancer and uh, liver damage induced by alcohol so hepatoprotective, uh, protect of the liver, uh, lowers um, sugar levels in the blood. Uh, that means diabetes type 2. That's also another possible effect of these uh, mushrooms uh, called coprinus comatus. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, and um, we will continue in the next podcast with Cordyceps sinensis. Thank you for listening. Thank you.